Hey everyone and welcome back to part two of I Critique Your Photos. In the first part you guys said you really wanted to see the second part to this video and maybe even see this be an ongoing series on my channel which I would absolutely love to do. So if you want to get your photos critiqued by me please attach them to an email and send them through to juliatrottycritique at gmail.com and include your Instagram handle as well so I can credit you if you're featured. So the first photo we have is by photographer Chris and I I really love this portrait. I think this is a great location that you decided to shoot in and I think the colors from your post-processing are really great as well. The reason why I chose this image is that I do really love her posing and I love the expression on your model's face as well but sometimes in order to make an image look a little bit more dynamic I like to do something where you have contradicting angles in your photo with the way that the model is posing. So as you can see in this image, her face and her shoulders are facing in the same direction of the photo. So something that I like to do and play around with when I'm asking my models to pose is to get them to do different things with their face and their shoulders. So what I mean by this is, for example, in this image, if you keep her shoulders the way that they are, but ask her to face towards you and maybe have her chin down a little bit, it would create a really nice kind of S-curve in her posing. Or on the other hand, you could keep her face the way that it is and ask her to face her shoulders more towards your camera. And again, that also creates those altering angles that make the image a little bit more interesting to look at. In saying that, you can still definitely pose this way. There is no right and wrong when it comes to photography, but that is just a tip and something that I like to do when I'm taking portraits. This next image that we have is by Sunny, and I think this is a really interesting location that you decided to take this portrait. I also really love the lighting. It's falling nice and evenly on your subject's face, which is great. Something that I'm finding a little bit distracting in this photo is the fence that's kind of falling right in front of your subject and is a really big kind of focal point in the foreground. Something that I would recommend to maybe improve this kind of photo is to get your subject to come forward one of those panels on the fence so you don't have two distracting things in your photo, maybe only just that first one. And also this kind of looks like maybe it was shot on like a balcony, but it kind of looks like the corner of a balcony. I would also maybe take a step to the left as a photographer so you're not on as much of an angle on the fence and it might be a little less distracting that way as well. Um, you could have also asked your subject to lean her arm on the top part of the fence and that way you could have eliminated that foreground blur altogether and have your focus go straight on your subject instead. In saying that, I do still really love this photo. I just wish you would have played around with the angles just a little bit to get your subject to pop and stand out a little bit more in the photo. But it is a beautiful image overall. I also love the expression on your subject's face and yeah, thank you so much for submitting your photo. Our next image is by Esteban and I absolutely love this portrait. I, like I said in my first video, I think it's really great when you guys, and me included, <laughs> experiment with different lighting techniques and taking photos at night. I love the way that your model is posed and I love the background and the color grading is really great as well. The only thing that bothers me just a little bit in this picture is that I wish it was more aligned in the background. You've got all these really great leading lines in your background going straight to your model to bring all the attention to her. So if those were completely straight and aligned, they would be slightly less distracting than they are at the moment. It kind of looks like it might not be your fault though because the lines of the stairs are completely straight and then kind of the side barriers are a little bit uneven. So something that you can do is actually play around with the transform tool in Lightroom to try and get those lines to be as even as possible. But aside from that, I think you did such an amazing job on this photo and I really love it. Our next image is by Juan Carlos and it is a beautiful portrait taken at dusk. I love the light that's falling on your model's face. It really makes her stand out from the image. I also really like how you didn't make the horizon line chop right through her face, which I tend to do sometimes in my photos. So having her face against the bright sky really makes her stand out in the image. 
Something that I'm finding a little bit distracting in this photo is that brick wall that's on the bottom right hand corner. I feel like because it's a solid color and it's lit up pretty well in the photo, it kind of detracts a lot of attention from your subject and my eyes kind of tend to dart from your subject's eyes down to the bottom right hand corner of that brick wall and kind of go back and forth. So I kind of wish that maybe if you had moved to the right a little bit and had that beautiful bucket on the left side be on both sides of the background, it would have been a really stunning image. Something that you could try since you have already taken this photo is playing around with the adjustment brush in Lightroom. I would just paint over that bottom part of the image and try bringing down the exposure or bringing down the highlights and also desaturating it a little bit to help it kind of blend into the image and make it stand out a little bit less. But again, aside from that, this is a beautiful photo and thank you so much for submitting it. This next photo was taken by Brandon and I absolutely love this photo. I feel like your model's pose is really strong and it really kind of grabs your attention when you look at the photo. I also love your use of lighting. It looks like it was kind of harshly lit but still a little bit overcast, which makes the lighting really punchy and look really nice. And I also love your post-processing as well. The colors are really great on the image. Um, two little things that I'm finding a little bit distracting that I feel like would make this even better are two really minor things on the side of the image. But if you were to crop them out, it would make this image stand out so much more. So the first thing is that sign that's on the bottom left-hand side of the photo. I feel like if you could crop out that silver bit of the frame, the black sign would kind of blend into the background a little bit more and bring more emphasis to your model. And then the other thing is that shadow that's to the right-hand side of the image. It looks like maybe a pole or the corner of a building. Something about having almost straight lines on the very edge of your photo can be really distracting and your eyes are kind of drawn to it. Um, so if you could crop that out and the other side as well, this would be a stunning image, but I do already love it. So great job on this photo and thank you again for submitting. This next photo belongs to Yana and I think this is a really cool and creative picture. I really like the way that you framed your subject and I also love how there's a really small little bit of light at the top of the image and the rest of your image is really quite dark but then your subject stands out as well. That lens flare is also really prominent but I think because it's such a creative image with interesting framing it actually really works. The only thing I can suggest to improve this photo is to always keep an eye out on what your background looks like. Um, I know this even happens to me, sometimes you can get carried away with keeping an eye on how your subject is posing and what their facial expression looks like, but sometimes the background is a second thought. So for me in this photo, the white kind of fence or metal bits in the background are really distracting, mostly because the entire image is really dark and the white stands out there a lot. So next time when you're taking portraits, you can either ask your model to stand in front of it and you can hide it that way. Since you already took the photo, you could try using an adjustment brush in Lightroom to kind of paint it out, which will help this image stand out a lot more. But aside from that, I love this photo and thank you for sharing it. Our next photo is by Mateo and I really love that you found your light source and got your subject to stand underneath the light in the car park. It really helps your subject to stand out in the photo. Um, for me personally, I find that the eyes are the most important part of a portrait and because of the directional lighting in this photo, that's getting a little bit lost. So there are two things that you could do to kind of fix this up when you're taking the photo. The first one is to get your subject to tilt their head upwards towards the light, just enough to fill in some of those shadows that are on his eyes. The second thing you could do is use an LED block or even the torch on your phone. Um, kind of hold it off to the side while you're taking the photo to fill in that shadow as well. Um, but yeah, aside from that, you did a really great job with the lighting. I love the depth of field in this shot and you did a good job with your white balance as well. Last but not least, our final photo was taken by Christiana and this is a really cool and interesting portrait. Again, I love your use of harsh lighting. It really makes your subject stand out from the dark background. 
Something I would like to suggest to possibly make this portrait a little bit stronger is that you've got this really cool styling going on, especially with that visor that's creating a really interesting color cast on your subject's face due to the harsh lighting that you're shooting with. I feel like I would have really liked to see maybe having your model bring her chin down a little bit so that yellow cast from the visor went across her eyes and maybe even having her looking at the camera again as I mentioned before with those altering angles in your subjects posing to make the image a little bit more dynamic. Another thing I'm noticing is that because you've got a solid blue sky in your background it is banding a little bit so I would recommend to add maybe one two or three percent grain to try and um, minimize that banding as much as possible. Because I've seen the rest of the photos that you submitted with this one, I do know that you were shooting at a tennis court. However, in this photo in particular, because the background is so underexposed, which I do really like as it makes your subject stand out, as I mentioned. However, you can see the white um, kind of line from the net that's in the middle of the tennis court. And when you're looking at this image on its own, you might not really be able to guess what that is. So I would possibly just clone that out with Photoshop or Lightroom to just make the background even more solid. But again, aside from that, it was a really nice photo shoot and I really like this image. So I really hope you guys enjoyed listening to those critiques. I hope that maybe helped you in some way with your editing or when you're taking photos. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you all next time. Bye.